let me discuss the mechanism of action of nitric oxide. So, I write nitric oxide as NO. It's a free radical. And the most important function of nitric oxide is to cause relaxation of any muscle which is smooth. So, smooth muscle relaxation is the property of nitric oxide. How does nitric oxide cause smooth muscle relaxation? Be it uterus, be it the bronchi, or even the blood vessels. The smooth muscles present in those areas will undergo relaxation. I'm going to tell you the mechanism by which nitric oxide can cause relaxation of smooth muscle. What can be the source of argon? I mean nitric oxide. It can be argon giving nitric oxide in the form of amino acids who is able to release a nitric oxide. Also, in case of myocardial infarction or in case of angina, I'll be using nitrates. For example, iso sorbide dinitrates. These can also give you nitric oxide. Glutathione pathway also can give you nitric oxide when I'm using nitroglycerin. What is the purpose of these two drugs in case of angina? When the heart is not receiving enough amount of blood, it is because of vasoconstriction. So nitric oxide can cause relaxation of those blood vessels. So how do they cause relaxation? And this would be the mechanism. This nitric oxide is produced by the enzyme called as nitric oxide synthase. And if it is present in the blood vessel, it's called as endothelial isoenzyme. So endothelial nitric oxide synthase will act on the smooth muscles present in the blood vessel wall. Here, this nitric oxide synthase will activate nitric oxide. That nitric oxide will activate an enzyme called as guanylyl cyclase. What is the function of this enzyme called as guanylyl cyclase? It is known to convert guanosine triphosphate into cyclic guanosine monophosphate. I repeat, nitric oxide will activate guanylyl cyclase, which will convert GTP into cyclic guanosine monophosphate, which is in simple terms written as cyclic GMP. Here comes a question. What is the molecular basis where nitric oxide is capable of activating guanylyl cyclase? Nitric oxide will activate the inositol pathway. The second messenger system is inositol pathway. This inositol pathway will increase calcium concentrations inside the cell. Remember, calcium concentrations, when they are increased, they will activate the enzyme called as nitric oxide synthase because of which nitric oxide activation happens. So, through inositol phosphate pathway, guanyl cyclase has been activated. We will produce a lot of cyclic GMP. Remember, cyclic GMP has inhibitory action on myosin-like chains. These myosin-like chains on contraction will cause contraction of smooth muscle in total, it will cause increase in the BP. Now this cyclic GMP will cause inhibition of the myosin light chain kinase activity. So it causes inhibition of contraction. When there is inhibition of contraction, it automatically becomes relaxation. So if a blood vessel wall's diameter is this way, it is because of contraction of the smooth muscles present in the blood vessel wall. When I throw in nitric oxide, it will activate the guanylyl cyclase pathway. It will convert GTP into cyclic GMP. And that cyclic GMP can cause relaxation of smooth muscles in the area because of which the volume of the blood flowing to the blood vessel will increase because the volume of the diameter of the lumen of the blood vessel increases. When it increases, automatically blood flow increases. It can be treatment for angina. The same thing can be used for impotence also in case of pulmonary hypertension also. So remember, nitric oxide can cast relaxation of smooth muscles. If you could know this pathway, it would be more than enough to answer pharmacological questions. Thank you.